money is just waiting to be made when you know what you're looking for. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tommy Trades, I'm a full-time eBay reseller, which means I'm going to places like charity shops, car boot sales, antique fairs, even private deals, sourcing stuff to flip online for a profit. Now over this past week, I found myself going out like three or four times to charity shops and it's partially been because I've had stuff to post and then the charity shop's right next to it. So I sort of pop in and I'm like, why not do a round and hit them all up? So there's a lot of items to get through today, but I hope you're excited. Let's get straight into it. Now I paid 30 pounds for everything in this bag. So let's just go through and see what we got. We've got a jelly alco shots thing new in the box. I think they're gonna go for about a fiver on eBay. Picked up this shirt here. I've seen this one a couple of times, but I left it for four quid, but Seeing as they reduced it down to two, I couldn't resist picking it up. It's a surf design, yin and yang, was $34.99 once upon a time. That is the town and country surf design brand. Not a bad little shirt there. Should sell online for like 15, 20 quid. This one's got a hole in it just under here, so I try not to flip them upside down. But it's a doorstop, it's a squirrel doorstop. The design and a brand to look out for though is Ulster Weavers. Again, I try not to spill the sand. Ulster Weavers, this one should go for £30, paid three. In the past, I've avoided picking this kind of stuff up, but I spotted it, I did some research and I thought it might actually be worth the investment. So, Bohemia Crystal is the brand. And then it's like a glass vase glass cup hurricane glass with some engravings in there i paid two pound for this it does sell online anywhere between like 15 to 25 quid i think it just depends on the condition you've got and i did find it quite hard to find another one with an engraving in there so i might be on the higher end i was on my way out of that shop when i spotted this in the window went back in and bought it it was three pounds for this silver plated gift so you get this little stand and then this part is like a birth certificate holder silver plated birth certificate holder open it up and you've got the little roll with a certificate in there just an example one unfortunately i don't have the top lid to put over the top of this but i've seen these sell online for like 30 to 40 pounds so we should be in some good money there potentially a 10x from three quid. Then I went into the next shop, which is right next door, and they had another box of crystal, well, glasses. But this one's Stuart Crystal, much nicer box here. I did pay up, this was 10 pounds. Two lovely brandy glasses in there. And I was doing some research in the shop because I wanted to make sure my money was gonna be safe if I'm buying these. Essentially, if it's got the Stuart engravement on the actual glass, it's quite hard to show it here. You can just see it at the top there. But if it has that, then you know it's legit and they're worth some good money. I've seen these on eBay without the box for £40 plus. So I'm thinking with the box, I could potentially do 60 Have it like the best quality listing out there with the box, clean glasses, all that sort of stuff. Let's see what we can do. But a minimum of 40 on that one. I wasn't too sure about this at the time. Yokai watch folder. I've never seen this before in my life. I thought they were pogs, but they're like these plastic pog type things. Let me get one out. QR codes on the bottom. Is this like build your, your set and then you battle with them or something? And then you got some stickers in there. I think Yokai Watch may be past its time. I'm not sure whether it's still collectible to people or not. I know I had some uh, DS games of it sell quite well in the past. Again, haven't looked this one up. Potentially 10 quid. Could be worth way more. And then the last thing from this bag, I think you're really gonna like, is some Star Wars Galoob micro figures. This one isn't. This one's like an electronic... Uh, it doesn't have a battery in it, unfortunately. But you're supposed to click that and he even makes noises. You think his eyes light up. But this one on its own is from like six to ten quid. Then you've got this. So you pull. Oh, how do you get into this? 
Oh, I don't want to take that off. Oh yeah, so you just lift his head. Inside you've got the little base, but that's one. He goes for like 15 to 20 quid. We have Boba Fett, similar sort of thing. Folds out, flips out, nice little base. Again, the same kind of price, 15 to 20 quid. And then the last one, C3PO. This one's 1994, the other ones are 1996. And you've got the little lounge in there. Got some little figures as well. Stormtrooper there. I love micro machines and I was debating keeping these, but if I'm honest, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. So it doesn't fire me up to be like, I need to have these in my collection. So I'll probably scrub these up, get them nice and clean and get them listed on my eBay store. One bag down, two and a bit to go. First up, we got this Miss Molly's ice cream. No, it's not ice cream. It's just the tub that we're using to hold a Halo Lego truck. I think they sell for like 10, 15 quid. It does have a few pieces in there, so I'll have to put them back together. There is no uh, Master Chief figure or anything like that. So it's just a car on its own. I picked this up just because it was an empty box, but I've used it to carry things home. We got this Hyper Cluster. It's like you put it together yourself. It's got a little motor pulley in there, but it's a yo-yo and it's to like make it so that you can spin it super fast on the end of the yo-yo. Two pound, it sells for like 10 to 15. And this was a pound, so I couldn't say no to this. Digital Ayukzai Zoom camera, Canon. Really small old camera. It's got all the bits in there as well. A little charging dock, the cables. So I'll just test that, plug it in, make sure it can take a picture and everything. Should be looking at 35 quid potentially. Add this to my collection of boxes. I also picked up this electric lunch box. I paid five pounds for this one. And it sells online anywhere from like 25 all the way up to 35 quid. It is brand new as well. The box has been opened, but it is brand new inside. I'll show you what it is. Because I've not seen any of these before. I didn't even know they existed. But for like 30 quid, flipping it online, pretty good thing to look out for so it comes in a nice little bag like this so you can open the thing tommy inside you've got your lunch box you take the lid off you can see what's inside and how it sort of all plugs in so there you go you've got like your bit inside you've got your cable all brand new never used before but i'll list this one as like new and opened or like new whatever it allows you to do and probably put it up for 29.99 plus postage another absolute steal I paid £10 for this bad boy, and we've got a crock pot. It is the digital version, so it's the higher end of the ones. So you can get some ones that just plug in. There's no screen on it and no buttons. This is a more technical one. These go online anywhere between like 75 quid all the way up to 100 quid. I don't think you get £100 for an opened box, though. So I'm going to aim for around £70, maybe 80 I'll do a little bit more research just to double-check the solds. But again, this one's new in box. The box has just been opened at the top. 10 into 75 quid. I think that's some pretty good returns. I also grabbed this. I couldn't believe this when I saw it. I started freaking out. I think I overvalued it at the time. But it is a super dry Everest Expedition coat. And it is very nice. Really nice condition. It actually does suit me pretty well. Let me show you. Got a nice line in on the inside as well. Now it's not a parka, it doesn't actually have the like fluffy hood. It's just a coat. But God, it's so warm, it probably like flaps over your face. But when I first looked these up, they were going anywhere from like 150 quid all the way up to 300 pounds. But I think that was for the Parker one with the furry hood. I did see a couple sold on bids for like really low amounts, like 15, 20, 30 quid. So I might just do the spot check, make sure it's all in order and there's no damage to it. And then probably list it for 50 pounds plus, fingers crossed. I know we are coming out of the season for this now. We're moving into summer and those hotter months. So I need to get this one listed ASAP. The Bridge leather handbag. Genuine leather. I'll try and show you the inside label as well. It's pretty hard to... Nah, too hard to show you. This bag on eBay sells for around £50. 
other versions and styles of the same brand but they do like other versions of bags they're from like 60 pound plus all the way up to 100. I do need to clean up this logo here and I'm not quite sure what chemical it is I need to be using to get that sort of stuff off so if you guys know please let me know down in the comments I've seen people use it on like old coins and stuff where they dip it in this like solution and then all of the grime comes off if you know what that is please let me know and I'll get some ordered with the cloves I pick up, I'm trying to be a bit more selective and make sure that they're actually a solid brand and there's going to be some decent value in it. Again, I'm trying to get my average sale price up, so I don't want to be buying shirts. I'm just going to be listing for seven or eight pounds. I did find this one, though. Never heard of the brand before. Oberemeyer. I think it's a German brand. It's actually really nice, really good quality as well. Size large ladies. Got wooden buttons on there, two pockets. But I tried looking this brand up and I, I don't think I could find this exact one, but other things from this brand go from like 50 to 60 pound. So I should be looking at something similar on this one. The problem with this haul was all the items were so big that we had to carry loads of bags home, but it was well worth it in my eyes. We picked up this Micro Scalectrix Wacky Races. Now it comes with this car and this car, but this car it doesn't include. Uh, and all the other ones that it sort of is like promoting you to get, you have to buy separately. Scale electrics, if you didn't know, do pretty well on their own. Just got to make sure that the track's in good condition, it's not rusted up. And the same on the cars, the better condition the bottom is in, the more you value you're going to get for them. But because this is also branded with rap wacky races, this thing sells for like 25 to 30 quid. There's some listings for 40 on there. And I believe there was an auction that sold for like £1.50, but I believe that to be an anomaly and someone got an absolute bargain. It has been used, so I'll go through it and scrub it up and make sure that everything is looking nice and clean. Piece together all of the track pieces and stack it together so it's nice and easy to photograph. Still from 2 99 that's a pretty good come up. They had some extension leads and I couldn't say no, I need some extension leads. They just had this come in as a donation. They chucked it in for a pound. It's not been tested or anything, but it's a Sony Discman. Believe it does pop open. Yeah, pops open there. I'll test that one out. Probably looking at like 12 to 15 quid. And the big boy. We got a T-Fowl. T-Fowl, double force, blender, food processor, all the attachments. 10 pounds I paid for this one. Sells online. For like 60 all the way up to 100 quid depending on the condition this is obviously new in box it is sealed as well so i'm just going to sell this as new in box and go for the highest price i possibly can i i couldn't believe it i got pretty excited it is a fast three remote control airplane how sweet is that now i can't find this on eBay, anywhere. I can't find this exact plane. I can't find this brand. If I search for it, all it gives me is like the replacement propellers or like the replacement cable uh, piece to go inside there. It's sealed on this side. This flap has been opened, but everything inside is new and untouched. The plane still has the plastic piece on the nose as well. So it's literally, Brand new, ready to go. Quality purchase that. I think I paid five pounds for this thing. Maybe 10 quid, I can't even remember. I was just so hyped when it came out. I had to have it. If people still think charity shops are dead, then you're either not looking at the right stuff, not looking in the right places, or they just feed them different down here in Bristol. What can I say? Monopoly Empire. All there, complete, all the little figures to it. I think this one sells for like 10 to 12 pound on eBay. It could be worth a bit more. I haven't double checked in. Found this Camel Cup board game. But this one should be around 30 pounds to flip on eBay. I've essentially got a pound into each of these items. I think everything was a pound or two pounds thereabouts. Got one of these phones. You plug it into your phone, but you can speak on an old phone. Probably 10, 12 pounds. I don't actually know if there's any value in this, but it was sealed, so I picked it up. Football trivia game. Could be just a cool thing to do a little giveaway with. I do not remember picking this up, but there's like this little toy transformer Power Ranger thing. I'll stick him up on the shelf, it's pretty cool. We got a bunch of toys from there. These tractors, let's double check the brand on these. Dicky, Dicky toys. Two tractors, one trailer. I think that goes together. Yep, 
two tractors one trailer could be a little bundle might do one tractor one trailer one tractor see what they're priced for i think they're around 12.99 with the trailer imagine next batmobile i think these only go online for like seven to ten quid but it was a pound batman figures original batman with his cape robin and then like a blue ice version of batman i'm not sure what that one is is that like cyber batman or something probably do a little bundle of those three together 15.99 i just picked this up because i thought it was funny i'll stick some batteries in it it's like a little dancing cactus plush toy if it does go for money though i'm gonna sell it you know that a mickey mouse plush a couple sonic plushes sonic himself is looking a bit more worse for wear it looks like he's been worn down shrewd upon but this one really nice condition it's been kept on the shelf playmobile fire engine i'll try and check the date on this one 2009 playmobile i think this one goes for around 15 quid on ebay the plastic pieces in there sometimes these start falling apart and like the little twisty pieces come off and this doesn't work but this is in pretty good condition so 15 maybe even 20 quid then i found this little stack of like star wars figures like on stands they're die cast as well so like this is metal die cast another one there but he doesn't have the base stand another one there i probably do these as like a bundle together maybe the light side and then the dark side or just do them all as a big bundle and try and get the best price for it are these star wars micro machines that is the one thing i'm very curious of royal brivoli the finest english lead crystal since 1776 in the box so i thought it's going to sell pretty nice because you've got something to pack it in lovely glass decanter here it's got the lid inside as well official sticker on there beautiful looking I think we're looking at 40 to 50 pounds on that one. I will stick a listing up though, just to make sure. Might be a little bit hard to show you these, so I'll just show you one of each, because I've got two sets of four. Small one, big one. These glasses have been in there for a long time. They finally got reduced down, and I just had to say, yeah. They, they were priced at like 60 quid, and they were got priced down to 10 pounds for all of them. So I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no. Even if like, I haven't looked them up, I was just going off of their prices, but I know they looked them up. I'm not sure of the brand off the top of my head either. I know it is on the label that they attach to it, and I'll have to look them up to find the brand. I think it's Tiger or something, but we've got these vintage glasses here. So we've got these larger ones with a green base. I think they're brandy glasses. I'm not 100% sure. Really nice condition thin glass four of those and four of the little miniatures as well are these shot glasses like what are these for candles two centiliters that's like a shot glass pretty stylish shot glass if you ask me but i'm either going to sell those as two different sets or just do one giant set together but i want to be as competitive as possible i want to try and make as much money as possible to that's the goal of what all of these purchases was to get that average sale price up and start making some more moolah when we're walking to the post office sending those parcels although i have just thought it will be an absolute pain to carry that tea fowl fryer all the way to the post office we'll deal with that when it comes to it thank you very much for joining me in this video if you've enjoyed be sure to smash the like button tap subscribe and i'll see you in the next one if you want to watch some more from me click the channel click on my videos watch them have a good time. Peace out. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Now, I've actually got a whole other bag that I completely forgot about. If you do want to see what's inside that one, though, be sure to drop me a follow over on Instagram. I'll be sharing the contents on my story. Tommy Trades 96 See you over there.